Perseverance is currently going 5.3 kilometers per second at an altitude of about 120 kilometers from the surface. February 2021. The lander carrying the Perseverance rover has entered the Martian atmosphere. The suspense in the control room is almost unbearable. The team has no control over what will happen in the next few minutes. We are starting the straighten up and fly right maneuver in preparation for parachute deploy. MRS reporting good telemetry lock. For the engineers from NASA and CNES, the French National Space Agency, this was what's referred to as the seven minutes of terror. Perseverance had to touch down as gently as possible on the Red Planet. The navigation has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration in the velocity. Our current velocity is 480 meters per second. And Perseverance was carrying a dozen sophisticated instruments, which would be used by one of the most ambitious space missions to search for traces of past life on Mars. speeds and the heat shield has been separated. This allows both the radar and the cameras to get their first look at the surface. Here the rover was less than two kilometers above the Martian surface. This was the last stage of the landing and likely the riskiest. The confirmation that the back shell has separated. The ground station could only watch. Signals took 11 minutes to reach Earth. Either the maneuver had been successful or Perseverance had crashed. Seven minutes, I think, was the shortest and the longest seven minutes of my life. For me, the really special moment is a few minutes after landing when we got the first picture of Mars. Wow, my robot that was here seven months ago, that's been in space this whole time, is on another planet. Congratulations to the mission. And this image was among the first sent from the Martian surface. The Perseverance rover was apparently intact and fully operational. The robot was tasked with uncovering the secrets of the Red Planet. Perseverance was sent millions of miles from Earth to help answer a question as simple as it is exciting. Did life once exist on Mars?